Hello Bobcats, my name is Sophie Reese and you're watching The Prowl, West Broward's weekly news show. With this school year coming to an end, many students are undecided about which college they will attend. One important factor in this decision is the price of tuition. Charlotte Tolis has the story. People go to college to further their education and help get them some of the jobs they want for the future. But some students just don't have the financial support to go to college. According to collegeboard.org, the average out-of-state tuition price is between $24,930. From 1981 to 2016, these prices have increased and unfortunately are still rising. Despite these statistics, many students realize they will do anything to pay for a guaranteed high-level education. In January of 2016, nearly 66% of students that have graduated from college are still paying off their loans for about 20 to 30 years. The percentage of students who pay for their own college tuition is between 22 to 33%. And the top Ivy League schools in the country, such as Harvard, Yale, or Princeton universities, are expecting students to pay for the amount of tuition posted on college websites, forcing families to go into debt for their children. Although some may say scholarships help the financial situation, seven out of 10 college students feel stressed about their finances, and colleges still enforce higher prices to pay for unexpected fees, such as lawsuits with students and appliances in dorms. These unexpected changes in costs have changed the Americans' opinion of what is best for their child. This has been Charlotte Tallish reporting for after a long day at school, Chillin provides a cool, unique environment for you and your family or friends to hang out in. Let's take a closer look. Here at Chillin, ice cream lovers are putting a new spin on the ice cream making process by adding liquid nitrogen to create a smoother, creamier, and richer taste. Chillin offers a variety of unique flavors including Nutella, Dulce de Leche, and Pistachio. But the key ingredient that sets it apart from traditional ice cream parlors is liquid nitrogen. So the ice crystals and the nitrogen, like that shoot into the cream, and which freezes it, that makes it like creamy, and that if, that's it apart from other ice creams in the sense that if you like were to put it in the freezer overnight or for a couple of hours when you take it out, it's still freshly made and just as if you had just gotten it, as opposed to like other ice creams which might get like harder as time passes by, like if you just leave it in the freezer. Liquid nitrogen is safe to eat tasteless, and responsible for the smoothness that Chillin's ice cream is known for, but the most notable part about it may be its ability to attract new and curious customers. People are curious, and when they hear about a place that they've never tried and something different, they're naturally going to want to try it. As you can see, Chillin offers a unique taste experience that you simply can't find anywhere else. This has been Joshua Letterberger reporting. Chillin' really is the perfect spot for an after-school treat. Now that we're halfway through the show, it's time for a commercial break. When we get back, we'll discuss how starting school early affects students and how peer pressure can impact the choices you make. Eight million pieces of marine litter enter the sea every day. Four point five million cigarette butts enter the environment every year. Plastic litter on beaches has increased 140% since 1994. Visit www.stayindevon.co.uk to help save our beaches. Welcome back. While some may be in favor of starting school early, others disagree and feels this negatively impacts students. Let's check it out. One of the biggest issues high schoolers face is how early school starts. 83% of American high schools report starting before the recommended start time. This causes students to come in early and not prepared to learn. 
teens need eight to nine hours of sleep and two out of three report getting less than seven. This causes these teens to fall asleep in class and not be prepared to learn. Schools that have start times later than 8 a.m. report an increase in test scores in math and reading compared to those who start before 8 a.m. Increased test scores lead to higher opportunities for colleges and leads to a greater impact on society. This has been Michael Rodriguez reporting. Peer pressure has been a prevalent issue among high school students. Within these four years, it affects many students more than they may realize. <laughs> we show them. Can I get the red? Yeah. The cops! No, what are you guys doing? Stop! Now that we've seen everything that has happened this week, we've reached the end of our show. I'm Sophie Reese, and this has been The Prowl.